Good evening, this is Mike Danbury with MilitaryCAC.com. This is hopefully going to be a quick video just to show you how to update the firmware on an SCR331 reader if you do not have a Windows computer. This example is going to be using LPS, which is the Lightweight Portable Security. It is a program put out by the U.S. Air Force. Uh, you can get to this file by going to MilitaryCAC.com. We're going to go to CAC Reader Driver because we're dealing with the reader. So we're going to here. The page loads up. The area you can find the quickest is over on the right. Firmware update for the SCR331. Here's some examples now of what this, what this uh, firmware update can fix for you. The biggest thing for us Mac users is able to update the firmware and use the reader on our Mac. Now it does have to be an Intel based Mac in order for the LPS software to work. So you can see Intel based Macs can update the firmware using LPS. Instructions are actually on page 37, not page 36. The, uh, we're going to go to the LPS page, which is here. Gives you example or examples about the information. You can click on the Lightweight Portable Security Edition LPS Public and it takes you over to the lightweight portable security page on the Air Force page. So down here you have about four choices. The first one being an ISO file, which is this 1.25 data 23 cents. That's the current one right now. Or you can also download a zip file, a little bit smaller. The next version down also includes Open Office, Adobe Reader, and that. If you're doing this only so you can update the firmware, you'll be fine downloading just this file here. I've already downloaded it. This is actually running Windows, or sorry, OS 10 7.1 currently. So you can see in my uh, downloads right here that I've already have it downloaded, which is the public ISO. What I've done in order to be able to record this video is I have actually installed. I've actually installed um, VirtualBox. Inside VirtualBox, I ran the ISO file to actually create the uh, virtual machine that you're seeing running right now in the background. So the aim of this video itself is basically just to show you how it is that you can update the firmware on your SCR331. So you do it by clicking Start. I already went past and did all the update to this because you would actually put your CD in your drive, boot your computer up with the USB thumb or a USB reader in the drive or in the USB port, and then you're able to do the. Uh, you'll be at the same point now. So we're gonna go to utilities, and then firmware. We have to continue on this message. So we're gonna be updating the firmware on our reader. We first have to browse, and in this case, we're gonna be doing the 331. It's the same for a 531, but we have the 331. We're going to hit OK. And mine already popped in right here. It says, ooh, I see you have a 331 reader already installed. So the current firmware on the left column, which is right over here, the important part I want you to see is the version firmware. If you have anything less than 5.25, I recommend you upgrade it. Update it, that is. And this is exactly where you do it at. So for this example, I'm going to click the download. I've updated the firmware on this reader many, many times. It doesn't hurt it to do it again. Only way it hurts is if you do a firmware for a different reader, so not the correct reader. It's downloading the firmware to the actual hardware right now. This is different than drivers. So we are done. We hit close. This reader has now been updated. I'm going to shut down my particular virtual machine right now. I'm going to pop back over here. Okay, try it again. Screen is still running. I'll minimize that guy. Okay, I need to get back to my desktop. So I'll dip it in Finder. Hit the little Apple icon. We're going to go to About This Mac. And we're going to go to more info. Eventually. System report is running line, a little bit different than what you have seen on the other versions of Mac. We're hitting USB, find the reader, 
and you can see that we are at 5.25. So you have now successfully updated the firmware on your SCR331 reader. And this has been brought to you by Mike Danbury and MilitaryCAC.com. There we go. One last thing. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.